right. <laughs> this is the luxurious Skyway Treehouse, obviously. Constructed in the year 1805 by a blindfolded man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. Oh a my real God. hack it vintage classic. It's cool. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? Hey guys, Wikileaks Gaming here, your friendly summer camp counselor here at Hackett's Quarry. I hope you guys are enjoying your stay, and I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Let's jump right back into it. We lead off on Jacob getting captured by that redneck looking guy, and he kind of just like smeared blood all over Jacob's face. But if you guys haven't seen the last couple episodes, definitely check them out. This is a fantastic series. The choices you make reflect everything in the game, and it just fits the Wicked Links Gaming channel as a whole. We love these horror-based pick-your-choices games. So, you know, let's jump back into it. That was horrible. It was... It, it was... I, I, I don't even don't know what panic. it was. Don't panic. It was so fast, and, and there, was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... Oh, Abby. Here. Just get, they got oh, the fire okay, raging. Time. Trying what? Well, uh, can you draw what attacked you? I hope we get to see this drawing. Okay. I, they're, I think they're werewolves that are attacking us. Dude is messed up. Hey, buddy. Can you tell us what happened? I'm a little attacked. What's happy? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... The hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Not the kind we want to run into. He is messed up. Is Abby? Yeah, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Claws, teeth run on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears around here. No, uh, oh fuck! Look at that. Oh fuck. shit! Dude, that look at stuff? his leg. That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Apply pressure. Oh, sorry. Oh, we're on spam. We're on spam. Ah, ah Wicked's killing it. Let's go. Spam alert. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? I actually think he's on to something. We'll be dismissive. Why? Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What? That what looks do you so think it bad. Is? Do I look like a doctor? I can't remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit! Fuck! Get the gun. Get the gun. We'll call out here. We got the gun. Hey! Let's see if we get a response. You got a gun! And I know how to use it! Sort of. Ryan, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Finger straighten off the trigger until you're ready to fire, dude. Be careful. I don't see anything. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Yo, you showed Don't him. Breathe. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? For sure.
It's right there. No, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot. I'm here to save you. Jesus. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. <sighs> Fuck, of course they are. Where's Emma? Jacob. Where's Emma? Where's Emma? Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I, I left Emma on the island, and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. Wait, the island? Yeah, why? Oh, no, I just... I just thought I saw someone over there before. Someone? Oh, no. No, I, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's probably nothing. I left her out there alone. Well, I think we're gonna head to the lodge. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like, um, he had like a bottle thing. I don't know, dude, it's like a really long story. Ew. Ew, indeed. Yeah, no, it's super fucked up. Oh, it, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I haven't told you this yet. I, I saw a fucking body in the lake. Like a dead one? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, one of the one of the swimmers from the varsity swim team, he got lost on the way to practice and it was, yes, a dead one, dumbass. Of course no. you did, Jacob. But no, for no, real, it, I did. I, I figured it must have been one of the counselors did. that didn't show up, but I couldn't tell because it was like all, all bloaty and gross. Something's not right. Dude, look at Nick. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, you get your finger off Nick the trigger. Adam. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. Someone's gonna get you shot here. You don't even here. know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... Let go. Let go. What the fuck? Yeah. Ooh, stop. dodging it like you're a champion. You're a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan. Sorry. Ryan's pissed. This is bullshit. Make Just sure go. She's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what? Risk another uh, run in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zip line. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Yeah. They can't walk properly. Properly. But yeah, I have an idea. Sounded real British right there. Properly. The wheelbarrow. I <laughs> just hit the wheelbarrow. Of good faith. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Hackett's Quarry Island, Emma, at 9.43 p.m. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This That'd be school, Emma. Well, one thumb. One available thumb. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. She's gonna get yoinked while she's live streaming herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a treehouse over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Not bad. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back because I don't. But even if I did, I can't. Because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You kind of pushed him away. You know what? Sorry, I'm venting. I'll explore venting. You know what? She definitely it. pushed Let's him away. It. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> Ooh, okay. We got control. 
part of me wants to go back down here for some reason. You always check back where you came from, because that's where they hide the good, the good little secrets. That you, Jacob? That is not Jacob. That was definitely not Jacob. I can assure you that. It's like we got a head over here. A head over here. Uh, bathroom jokes. Woo. No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't El Bano. Them. A little too au natural for me, TBH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay. We're going to just go ahead and ignore that. Seems like the best. Yeah. What's this? Just sit and do nothing? And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Oh, it's like okay, where I'm everybody really gathers to make, to make sure we'll all hit the bathroom and then go to this is spot. What it is. I think I've made my point. Point made. Point made. Roads so this to island is Ooh, like squirrel. an unexcavated part of the quarry squirrel. that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now, and Realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Well, she's venting because I think she might have why feelings for Jacob to too. Why justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. The metaphor in the narrative. I mean, a fork in the road. Literally. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Yeah. Oh, I thought I saw a person behind her. I thought I saw someone right there. Not gonna let me walk past here, is it? No. Okay. Uh, let's... I feel like the game wants us to take the high road. Let's take the... You know, the... the oh, in the... the, the in you know, the mud. Anyway. Well and truly in the thick of it. Or the thick is of it, there else? you go. That's what I was thinking. I was really excited for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory, and I know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada, yada, yada. I guess I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? No settling around here. Abby sees me as this confident person, but... Really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. Hey, I feel that. Be yourself. I feel like if Emma was being herself, she'd be a lot more happy. And Jacob would probably be more happy and she wouldn't have to... I don't know, fake this thing? Or show off for other people? She would just be happy with herself, you know what I mean? Doing what you you like and care about and enjoying life in the ways that you do. Not this trying to impress kind of everybody or I feel like this is the first time I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. 
I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, I kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. Nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. Are you? Aggressive or reflective? Let's be reflective. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And that spark that changed our lives forever. And we'll be like 70 year old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> Hey, it could happen. Only time will tell, Jakey boy. And as they say, time makes fools of us all. Jakey boy? But we will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. Okay. She's cutting ties with Jacob, I can see. Or at least for now, she is. Is this a fire? about it how could this have been mr h when he was back at the lodge you best be careful girl quoth the raven nevermore quoth the raven nevermore i'd be keeping those matches you never know then again i don't know where you're gonna store them whoa Emma strips down, jumps in the water, swims across the lake to the island without any of her clothes, but she has her phone on her. How'd that happen, huh? The world may never know. I guess I gotta do this one-handed, huh? Yeah, how do you bring your phone with you? That didn't sound great. <laughs> One little stomp at a time, huh? Oh, shit. Quick time event. Ah, just thought you should know. I am nailing this ladder climbing. There's not much to it. Oh. All right. This is the luxurious Skyway Treehouse. Obviously. Constructed in the year 180 fuck by a blindfolded man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. Oh a my real God. Hackett vintage classic. It's cool. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. That's a fine Take how it do all you in, do. Folks. That's the summer camp experience right there. And we got dark. Oh look. It seems somebody forgot seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there. But I don't recognize this. You don't hear that? Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open? the spooky trap door and die a horrible painful death there are literally no right answers no there is Snoo search the bag she literally you literally bag just said is. die a horrible and painful you know death I'm putting some clothes on this is all you're getting all right Get dressed up. Let's go. We got we got monsters out there. Pepper spray. We're in a taser. Fun. Okay, so I think there's something up there, and it is 
not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. There's definitely something up there. Why are we still going? <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. Do something. Uh, taser, taser, taser. Take a photo. Now go, go, you got your photo. You got your photo, girl. Is she a runner, she a track star. Spam. Spam deleted. Let's go, boys. Come on. Spray. Hit him with that spray. Make the jump. Make a jump. Okay, we're doing good. Close the door. That door is not gonna hold. Oh, you gotta... She's gotta think. Trap door, trap door, go, go, go. You gotta go quick. Oh, we're back on spam game. Spam game. Let's go, let's go. Oh, throw something on that. A toolbox. A little tiny toolbox. That's the best we could do. Hackett's Quarry Lodge. Easy. Looks like the I squad got, it. got here. Okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry, I'm just, I'm really hungry. We'll get you some His food eyes. Inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Look at the homeboy's eyes. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, take that card. Strength. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Mr. Um, H's office, Isn't there yeah. one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Dude, there's a creepy lady sitting on the, the staircase. Let's be cautious. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is, I don't know, has their scent or something? What? I don't know. Like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's going to track them down? I, I doubt it. I don't think I it was. I just feel like dude. if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is going to get into the lodge. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're probably right. <sighs> Come on. Let's go call for backup. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Damn. Stay focused, Dylan. Come on, you're good, dude. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. It's the hag of Hackett's Quarry. Keep it rolling, Dylan. You're good, dude. Stay strong, gents. Oh, grab that I secondary think shotgun. Injuries are as bad as we thought. Mm -hmm. 
We're going to be a little paranoid. We don't know that. No, it's true. Caitlin said. So all I'm saying is that we are not professionals, okay? We don't know. We He could have rabies or something. Uh, Way to be optimistic, man. I'm just being realistic. Or he could be turning. Turning into a monster. We gotta call for help. Yep. Who should I call? Uh, Ryan. Mr. Ryan, H? Ryan. The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Cops. We need firepower. Cops. With guns. We need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help. My friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are. So it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now. And we really need backup. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. That's exactly it. 911. What's wrong? Dead. Line got cut. That's weird. Definitely well, got that's cut. That's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang up thingy? What? Here. Jacob, come on now. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Hey, okay, you guys. Well, you know, how do you know that? You're in a wicked one series. You think, man. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. We got a CB radio? Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. Ooh, okay. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. Hell no. Keep him calm with I it. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Fair. Finally, Jacob, dude. Jacob literally sees, like, a, a okay. massive uh, man. It's it's probably the weather. Holding on to, to Nick. Weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. And he's not wanting us to and go with a shotgun. Why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay. So, for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. Bring the gun. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. Oh, Dylan. Oh, my God. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Split up the weapons. It's only fair. Does she need do you it? Think she really needs it, though. Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. Fair point. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really want uh -huh. to. Just give her the gun, man. Give gun. Uh, all right. You're right. They they need they need the gun. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. Oh my. I think I think Dylan and Jacob might have a, a little bit of a thing. Caitlin. 
And I interrupted something? She's kind of spicy too now. She's 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 frustrated. Chin up, big guy. It I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Generous and handsome is one way to put it, I guess. I think I think Jacob's a little a little too uptight. If I saw my friend messed up like that, gun for sure. You better keep climbing, Emma. Oh yeah, you you gotta go. That little tiny toolbox is not gonna hold. As long as there's no no quick time events, let's go. It's loud. Let's go slow. We'll go slow. Try not to uh, like attract too much attention. Speed it up a little bit. Oh! Reel it in. Just jump. Good jump. Oh. Good jump. Oh, you're gonna come. Oh! Okay, we're good. Oh, that was way too close. Your phone's done. Phone light better not come back on unless you have the world's most resilient phone. Yep, taser's dead. Phone's done. Ay, ay, ay. Back to uh, to oh, our narrator good here. Good to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> that time again, is it? A bit strength. Strength. Hmm. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all, and with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. This is always like random nonsense. As always, there's more to see. But and these as parts always, at the, the end. The choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Yeah, the parts at the end right here really can make the difference sometimes. So let's take a little gander. Rednecks getting choked to death by... So Nick? So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. All right, guys, unfortunately, I'm going to end the episode there. I hope you guys are enjoying the quarry as much as I am. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon to uh, get notified when the next episode drops. Also, feel free to leave a like and a comment down below on how I can improve the channel for you. All right, guys, thank you, and welcome to the Wicked Ones.